If you have a ton of zucchini growing in your garden or you've bought a bunch of it at, on sale at the grocery store, then you're not gonna wanna miss today's video. I'm going to show you how to make my best favorite zucchini bread recipe, and I'm gonna show you a few different variations to switch it up. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, I'm Dorothy with crazyforcrest.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're talking all about zucchini bread. It's a super, super easy and simple quick bread recipe that is perfect for snacks or breakfast. And I'm gonna show you a few different versions with blueberries and chocolate chips and even how to make it as muffins. Um, it's super easy, it's moist and flavorful, and it's a great way to use up all of that summer zucchini. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Let's start out by talking about the base zucchini bread recipe. I've been making this recipe for years. It's foolproof. It's going to work every single time, I promise. This is a one bowl recipe. You mix everything in the same bowl, super simple. Start your bread with a half of a cup of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar, and a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. I also add two large eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir that together. I love starting with vegetable oil because it makes it easy to stir these with just a wooden spoon. Then you need to add one half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of baking powder, along with two teaspoons of cinnamon. You need to add the salt because vegetable oil is a neutral oil and the bread needs a little bit of salt. Then add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. All right, let's talk about zucchini for a minute. If you're just using a regular zucchini from your garden or from the grocery store, go ahead and grate it on the um, large holes of a box grater. Um, you do not need to wring it out. I get asked that question all the time. You do not need to wring out just the basic zucchini that you've shredded for this recipe. It needs that moisture to make the bread nice and soft and moist. I also get asked about using frozen zucchini in this recipe, and you can. Um, a lot of times I know if you have a garden and you have tons of zucchini, you've shredded it and frozen it, um, and that's totally fine to use. The difference is when you freeze something and thaw it, it's gonna have some extra moisture. So what I like to do is thaw the frozen zucchini between um, paper towels, so just put some paper towels on the top and bottom. As it's thawing, that excess water will kind of drip off and moisten that towel, um, and then the zucchini should be fine to use. You still don't need to wring it out, just make sure it's not extra wet from being frozen. All right, once you have your batter all ready, it is time to put it into the pan and bake it. Now, um, you have choices for your pan size. We can make muffins, and we'll talk about that in a second, but um, if you're using a loaf pan, which you probably are, um, you can use either an eight by four inch or a nine by five inch loaf pan. Make sure you spray it with non-stick cooking spray, whichever one that you use. Um, now, I like using the eight by four better because it will be a nice rounded domed top. So the photos that you see on my site um, and the bread that you see in the video here was baked in an eight by four inch pan. It's nice and rounded and domed like a quick bread is on top. Um, if you use the nine by five inch pan, it's going to be flatter because it's a bigger surface area, right? So it's not gonna rise as much because there's um, more pan that it needs to fill. So you can bake it in either one. Just know if you want it to be that nice rounded domed um, bread, use the eight by four pan. Once you have the um, bread in the pan and your oven is preheated, go ahead and bake that. It's gonna take between 50 and 60 minutes. Again, the pan size will affect the um, bake time. So just start looking at it around 50 minutes. Um, it's done when a toothpick comes out clean from the center. So another question I get asked all the time is why did my quick bread fall in the center? Um, that happened because even though maybe it was done around the edges and at the bottom, that center crack, sometimes it happens with that center section on the quick bread, you need to test it in there. Because if that the toothpick comes out clean from there, that means that's done. If that's not done, you can have a little bit of it that's a little bit moist and not done, but if there's a significant amount of that center section that's not done, that's why it collapses in the center. All right, that's how you make the basic zucchini bread. Love it basic. You can also add nuts to that if you want, um, but I love it plain. We eat it with a butter. I even love putting peanut butter on this. Um, super simple but I also love making variations. And if you have enough zucchini all season long, you'll probably wanna make this bread a lot, and so you might want some different flavor options. So let's talk about each one. 
first one, chocolate chips. I love adding chocolate to almost everything because chocolate is amazing. So I'm going to add chocolate chips to my batter, fold it in and put it into the pan. I also like to sprinkle some chocolate chips on top because that makes it look super pretty. Once it's baked, you get that nice chocolatey zucchini taste. Ugh, so, so good. Another variation that maybe you haven't thought about is adding blueberries. Um, blueberry zucchini bread is an actually a really popular recipe. You can use fresh berries or frozen that have been thawed and drained really well. You can even use canned, just make sure that they are um, drained really well. Um, fold those carefully into your batter so they don't burst and get um, all messy in the batter. Bake the bread and it's super simple, a great alternative to blueberry muffins. And no, you could also use blackberries, raspberries, or chopped strawberries in place of those blueberries. And then muffins. Yes, you can use this recipe to make muffins. You can make muffins out of any of the mix-ins, nuts, plain, chocolate, fruit, whatever you want. Um, you, this makes about 12 to 14 muffins. Um, it depends also on how much you're adding to it. Like if you're adding chocolate chips, it might make an extra muffin or two. So you might make up to 14 muffins. I do like using liners for this. Um, I find that muffins, um, I just like muffins better when they have uh, the liner because they're not as tough on the outside. I feel like if you just bake them straight in the pan, they get that tough crust on the outside and I like um, the inside of the bread better than the crust. Muffins will bake quicker. They bake in about 15 to 25 minutes. Again, it depends on what you've added. It depends on your oven. So start checking at 15. Once the toothpick comes out clean, then they are done. That's it. That's how you make the best zucchini bread. Again, this is a foolproof recipe. It's one bowl, super simple and easy. Great way to use up that zucchini. I've been making it for years. Everyone who tastes this bread absolutely loves it. It's nice and moist and soft stays soft for a while. You can uh, freeze it if you want. You can freeze it whole so you can make it ahead to gift or you can freeze slices. We absolutely love this bread and I know you're gonna love it too. Leave me a comment. Let me know, will you make it plain? Will you add chocolate chips or fruit? Let me know what you're gonna add to it and keep watching for even more breakfast recipes.